11.30. We gotta get up at 4.45 in the morning. Me and my buddy Steven, I met at Orbis a few years back. Now we're going up to Tennessee. We'll get into more of that tomorrow. It's gonna be a good one. All right, folks, we checking in at 5.12 in the morning. Boy, I'm ready to get on some small mouth, let me tell you. I'm ready. So we about to go meet my buddy Steven. You'll meet him in a second. Steven! Here's gonna be our ride for today. Not the normal canoe I'm used to, but hey, something different, something I'm ready to try. All right, folks, it's me and my boy Steven from Orvis over here. What's up? And we are gonna go catch some smallies on the fly today. It's now seven o'clock. We're gonna go get on the creek, see what happens. And I'll just leave the keys with you and y'all are all welcome to come back. I'll either bring it back up there to pick us up or I can just ride back with one of y'all. The seats will be a little bit bouncy there. I noticed this one was they're not they're not locking in. I have my tire in the back there, so he's chilling. What you guys think? He's up in there. I don't know if I'm doing it. You won't ever see anybody point a gun in your face unless you're drunk and they're drunk. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm not drink on Golly. Who owns this? I can't think of what her name is. Danny was telling me about it. He, he puts it in here. Down there. We have reached the creek finally. Uh, what we're doing here is we're trying to find a good spot to put in that raft. Uh, it's like a straight drop off down there, so we can't really go there, but we're going back up here and see what we can get worked out. Don't step on the no, rock, it is, man. yeah. Step on the gravel. It's slippery. Right here, these aren't normal slippery rocks. I mean, there. I mean, it's just no. There is no standing up. That's just Steven. He's just a god. So yeah. <laughs> we got the boat pretty much packed up. We're gonna rearrange it a little bit, but we are here on the creek. Finally made it. This is it, boys. Steven, my man, you ready? Yes, yeah, sir. We'll see you on the water. They're nine inches, like a nice, like eighteen incher. But I had one. It was, it was legitimately. Yeah. Oh. Hey, first one. There we go. I just got to get warmed up. Oh, it's a goggle eye. Okay. Uh -huh. First fish here. I was going to say I'm going to get the camera out when we catch our first smallie, but here's the first little goggle eye. Good deal. Breakfast. Ain't really a midday update. It's about 10 o'clock. I just felt like picking up the camera. Did all right. We caught one little fish. All right, but we know the farther we go, the better fishing's gonna get. Still on the hunt for the smallmouth. Uh, we got some very promising stretches coming up, so we're gonna see what happens. Y'all stay tuned. Now, now that we're trying to catch those, but like, you know, if it's pulling a nose, it's gonna pull a smallmouth if it's there. Right. All right, folks, another little rocky. What is this thing called? We don't have a name for it. The no-name juicy fly. Oh, the MC juicy. Oh, there's one sitting in front of that, I think. You see him? Right. Yeah. Oh, I just spooked the shit out of him. I didn't know where to throw. He's like right in front of those branches. Uh, that was him right there. You see him? You'll see him in a second. He's huge. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. He's this? He's on it. Come on. Oh. Yes! Let's go. Good smolly. Good smolly. Oh, yeah! Oh, my bro! He came off? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It just went slack for a second, dude. See, that took everything I had to get him to turn around on it. It was huge. We don't tell Brian about that, all right? No, no. I saves him between us and YouTube. That was our first opportunity to big smallie. Is that a good sign? He'd been three pounds. Oh, yeah, easy. I'd definitely say he'd been three pounds. All right, we're going to get after him now. We're going to get after him now. All right, folks, so we just got done eating lunch. Me and Steven chilling out here on the creek bank. So now that we are refueled, hopefully we'll go get on him. Let me rephrase that. We're about to go get on. Let's just go catch some fish. 12 seconds later. On this bad boy right here, he calls it the screamer. Hopefully he'll get a scream in with some big smallies. Let's see what happens. Me now. Oh, oh, oh. There he is. Yes. <laughs> Let's go! I got the net this time. Oh, dude, follower, follower. Follower, follower. Cool. Look, big, giant follower. There you go. I'll let you net him yourself. I'll show you the follower. Yeah, it's right there when you're ready. I got him. Dude, big, giant. Look at a three pounder right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. They're right there where he just was. All right. 
Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, oh my god! Yes! That was beautiful. Oh, holy! Dude, there was at least two others there. Should I release this one? Try to get them, or yeah. yeah, release that one. Let's try to get this one in. Now that yours is in a good one, folks. First Molly. That's a good one. Steven's man. pointing a great giant right now. I'm trying to get the big camera for that, but sweet first little smallie. On a fly rod, I've caught in a long, long time. He's on a great giant one here. A real good one. I don't want to knock it out of his mouth. Just put him right in here. Yes! What a fish, Steve. Oh, yeah, what a fish. Jesus, look at this guy. Great big one. On that big, nasty fly right there. Woo, dirty. Yeah, get a camera and some fish right here. Hell yeah, dude. We've been working for these fish. It's been, I mean, it's one o'clock trying to grind, catch these bad boys. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna get out and we'll get some pictures over there. Dude, that's a good small man. Alright folks, scale is zeroed out. Y'all seen this scale a lot. Alright, I just clipped them on there. Nice. So it's about a two and a half pounder. Yeah. Pretty close, almost. A, I mean, that's close to three by itself. So sweet, good deal. Good job. Heck yeah. Woo! First big smallmouth. Let's go get on some more. We got a tree down for the raft right there. We got a little shoal we're gonna go around. So no problem, just dragging it. Then we're gonna wade this section a little bit just cause it looks pretty juicy like the last spot. Yeah, I ordered an Uber. What's that? You're Steven, right? Yeah. My Uber driver? Yeah. Okay, all right. Sweet. So, uh, yeah, I need to go four miles downstream. Damn, I missed the high sticking. Fuck it, we're gonna do it again. I got him. Good drift there, though. That was perfect. This is what you told me to do. Well, Steven hooked me up, fellas. He just holding my rod exactly like this through this little thing. This small, he's just busted it. Ha <laughs> ha. Sweet. Fellers, second smiley today. He just munched this thing. Pretty little fish, though. I've been recording the whole trip, but somehow every time I hook up, oh I God. never record it. It's alright. We'll live. First largemouth. Yeah, when I got out to Wade to get try to get that small, I turned my GoPro off after I was done. I forgot to turn it on. All right, I think that is three or four bass for today. First largemouth in the books. What's going on is we talked to some dudes a little farther up there, and it, this was at probably, it's five o'clock now. The place closes at seven, so we need to try to get to our destination by seven. Okay, can you hear me now? But if it's close to seven, do you want me to just call you and like keep you updated? About two o'clock and they said we we're only halfway there and we have been paddling for well over half the day. You can't really see back there, but there is some, This that's not a good point of view, but like back over that way, there's some really gnarly clouds going up. Like some storms coming up for sure. The wind's kind of getting that weird little, weird slight warm breeze, like you're about to just get monsooned on. So that's what we're working with right now. But overall, I definitely want to say we have a good day for the first time ever. Uh, fishing in this area stay tuned for a soon to come update it'll either be hey we made it hey we caught a fish or we're getting rained on a few moments later probably gonna be rained on in like any second now so we just met this guy and he said he lives down the river so we're gonna ask him if we can take out at his house just to keep from getting soaking wet and having a two-hour ride ahead of us Definitely appreciate it. It's starting to look real bad. Oh yeah, here comes the rain. Oh yeah. It's a little rainy there, broski. We really did get lucky. We had some, those people were kind enough to help us get off the water. It's starting to come a monsoon. Bye puppy. Yeah, thank you all a lot for helping us out. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I saved you right here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you had a pretty good look. Are you guys from here? Uh, Huntsville, Alabama. About an hour and a half from here. See you later. We'll see you guys. Thank see. you for everything, guys. You guys enjoyed. I'll let you drive back. I'm not too familiar with this area. Right, appreciate it guys. That's pretty neat.
Right, sure. be Thank you. Y'all be yeah. good. We made it. I didn't think we were gonna well, make it, we got it, but we made it. All right, folks, so we are at the taco shack. You've seen this on the channel before. We were ready to get some tacos after our crazy adventure kind of a day. See you later, Mr. Thanks. Randy. Right, man. We'll, be back. we'll be back, we'll be back. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up the creek video today now me and steven here i met him probably about two years two, ago probably two years ago and he's taught me so much about fly fishing probably the majority of the knowledge i know especially after today thank you son steven he's really helped me out with the fly fishing game hopefully we'll see him in a bunch more videos we're going a bunch more trips another thing i want to mention is him and a couple of his buddies have started a company called blue line coast i want you to go check them out on instagram they got they make the coolest streamers out there for sure stuff you can't find in stores definitely some really unique stuff that's going to help you catch smallmouth like we did today y'all go check that out yo if you ever make it up to shoal creek make sure you holler at the taco shack quality taco so he, he got a chance to try out the taco shack and i think he liked them so appreciate y'all watching this video we'll catch you on the next one